This poem is called Woman to Woman. It's only right that I confront you face to face, woman to woman. I said while rolling my eyes at her. You didn't think I would give you a piece of my mind? I don't know where you get off getting involved with my man, but you wrong. That's right, my man. I'm not letting go without a fight. For years, I'd held my man down. When no one wrote him, I was there. When he was down because he couldn't get no one on the telephone, I was there. When months and years passed by without a visit, I was there. When he bowed his head and despaired and cried like a baby, I was there. I seen this man at his worst and I accept him for who he is. With my hands on my hips, I looked down at this woman and dared her to say something. It was obvious we were from two different sides of the track. And for the life of me, I could not see what my man saw in her. I had been so good to him. Then she finally spoke. It's my understanding he left you some time ago. She exerted in a matter of fact term with great confidence. She continued. He hasn't thought of you in weeks. When he breaks out in a smile for no apparent reason, I did that. When he reacts to certain emails over and over and smile, I did that. When he responds to those emails and dedicates a song to me, I did that. He stares at a picture with pure joy in his eyes, I did that. When he dreams at night and whispers while sleeps and said, you are so gorgeous, I did that. I seen this man at his best and it's obvious that he prefers the happiness that I provide. I did that. The audacity of this woman, least to say I was pissed because the more she talked, I realized she was right. Because he never smiled for me the way that he done for her. He never thinks of me the way that he thinks of her. But even still, being who I am, I was bound and determined to give her something to think about. Woman to woman. It takes a special kind of woman to hold a man like this down. You think you got what it takes? Be my guest. But the minute you slip up, I'll be back to get what's mine. I'm going to get my man back. I said with so much venom as I could muster it up. She smiled in a way I never witnessed. While I turned to walk away, curiosity got the best of me. I said, I didn't catch your name. Mine's is loneliness. What's yours? She didn't miss a beat. She kept walking and she simply replied, Love, written by Melvin Robertson. Thank you.